When the seafloor suddenly moves upward during the earthquake, it causes the water near the epicenter to rise with it. The giant swell is the start of a tsunami. Forecasters issue a tsunami warning. They predict 10-foot high waves in Fukushima Prefecture. The main buildings at Daiichi and Daini are about 30 feet above sea level. So no one worries much about a tsunami. And then at 3.27 p.m. The first of seven giant waves crashes over the seawall. Then I saw the tsunami coming. I was on top of that hill, wondering if I was high enough. This thing was, you know, it was huge. The tallest surge of water is nearly 50 feet high, more than twice the height of the seawall. I assumed there would be a tsunami, but not one 50 or 55 feet high. I couldn't even imagine a tsunami like that. Fukushima Daiichi is inundated. Two workers drown, trapped in the basement of the number four turbine building. Six generators, along with the wiring, switches, and breakers connecting them to the plant, are located in the basements of the turbine buildings for units one through four. The floodwaters destroy them all. Two additional generators behind unit four are high and dry, but their switching gear is in the basement, ruined by the seawater. The generators would be useless. <laughs> 